This video will serve as my follow-up to the Zelda 64 beta. Now after Nintendo decided to go with the cartridge format for The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, apparently they still had aspirations to use the 64 disc drive for the game. This was called The Legend of Zelda Ura. Now, Ura Zelda, or Another Zelda, was actually an expansion or patch for the Ocarina of Time. It was designed so that the Ocarina of Time cartridge would be plugged into the main N64 console, while the Ura Zelda expansion disc would be plugged into the 64 disc drive. Apparently, the Ocarina of Time title screen would change, adding a Triforce icon and Ura Zelda at the bottom of the logo. Furthermore, the size of this patch was about 32 to 64 megabytes, this being the reason it couldn't be released on a cartridge. However, as Ura Zelda was finishing production, the 64 disk drive add-on was officially scrapped, and no 64 disk drive version of the game is available to the general public. However, some do consider the Master Quest version of Ocarina of Time to be Ura Zelda, although it's more likely that this is just some dungeons rearranged to shut the fans up. Now, while I still find the original Zelda 64 to be a far more interesting topic of discussion, Ura Zelda is still fascinating to say the least. So what did we miss out with on Ura Zelda? Well, since it was an extension of Ocarina of Time, the game would feature new subquests, new dungeons, and new items to find. The game would also feature two new tunics for Link, as well as some interesting easter eggs. Now, while it's impossible to get your hands on Ura Zelda, there is a debug ROM of Ocarina of Time floating around the internet that can show you some various things left out of the final version of Ocarina of Time as well as some things that may have been planned for Ura Zelda, like a battle against an R-Wing. Regardless, there's no way that any of us will ever get the chance to play Ura Zelda, or Zelda 64 for that matter, because these games are more likely than not locked deep away inside of Nintendo's vaults, somewhere in Miyamoto's closet next to an Italian plumber who thinks he's Mario. With that said, Ocarina of Time is still a great game. Even so, I'm off to go buy a 64 disk drive. This has been Gaming Mysteries. Thanks for watching.